Hey guys, welcome to Render Eyes. Today in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to make a lighthouse scene in Blender 2.8, which would look something like this. It's something that I had my hopes quite high for, but it turned out to be trash. But I hope I can show you what I learned along the way. So let's get into it. To start off, we're obviously going to exterminate everything along with the default cube. Then we're going to add a cylinder for the lighthouse model. Then to get the shape to look more like a lighthouse, it's just a matter of adding loop cuts and extrusions and scaling them in and out. Then we have the simple cylindrical models for the top of the lighthouse where there's this thing inside from where the light is emitted in the render. For the supporting thingies right here on the lighthouse, I just made one such model, used an array modifier with the count set to 24 and using not the relative offset but the object offset to control the placement of the array. This object was set to an empty object in the scene which I rotated and positioned right about here for the duplicates to form a circle like so. After that I added 4 cubes with roughly the size of a window, joined them together to make them one object and then used a boolean modifier on the lighthouse cylinder that we have here and selected the newly created cubes as the object for it. Also make sure that the operation is set to difference if you want to cut holes out of it. Now make super simple windows using planes with inset and extrusions and use an array modifier to duplicate them to the other cutouts. That's our lighthouse right there. Let's keep it in another collection for now. Before we move on any further, we need to work on the platform where the lighthouse is situated and that happens to be another cylinder with some loop cuts and extrusions and I deleted the few edges in the front where the road connects. And for the roads, I decided to make the shape using a bezier curve. Then if you add a super long cube a bit longer than the curve itself, add a bunch of vertical loop cuts to it, add a curve modifier on it and set the newly created curve as the object, you're going to see that it follows the shape of the newly created curve. You can duplicate the cube to create the fake extrusions of the platform as well as duplicate it over to the other side. Now to finish it off, you can simply add a circle for the top of the circular platform and a plane that follows the curve for this one. Now we can switch on the lighthouse collection and position it accordingly. Adding the rest of the stuff in the scene should be fairly easy as well. For the rest house on the left, I duplicated and separated the lower part of the lighthouse and tweaked it to get a shape like this. Don't worry about this distorted edge, it isn't visible so it's not worth working on it anyway. To make it actually look like a house, we can add a simple window and door using the Archimish add-on that comes with Blender. I was following these two reference images as my main target while making the scene, uh, the links to which I'll leave in the description. And as I'm not someone who has ever seen a lighthouse before, I decided to keep it relatively similar to the reference to make it not feel too out of the place. So I added these two buildings of whatever they are on the right and to fill in the space in between them, I made some random cube looking shapes and just threw them in there. I also made some random shapes and pillars for the roof just to fill it up. Moving on to the rocks on which the whole thing stands, it was actually quite simple. I basically added a huge plane to the scene and added a subdivision modifier and set the mode to adaptive. By the way, uh, this only works if you have set the feature set to experimental right here. Then I sculpted some elevation beneath the platform roughly getting what I had in my mind. Finally for the water I used a huge subdivided plane with the subsurf modifier set to tree subdivisions. Then to actually get the oceany look I added an ocean modifier set the spectrum to established ocean for the tiny waves all over the plane. Then I basically tweaked everything till the last moment to get what I thought was good enough. These are the settings that I use. It might not give you the same results because it really depends upon the scale you set your plane to and and some other factors that I'm probably unaware of. And that's basically the whole modeling part. Next comes the materials and I want to specially start off with the rocks because there were a few people who really wanted to know how I made them look like that. It's actually super simple. It's just a simple principle BSDF setup with these rock textures that I got off of CC0 textures. You can check the description for the link. Anyway, the whole magic comes from the displacement map which affects the actual geometry of the mesh to give us that awesome realism. If you ever want to use displacement in your scenes, make sure that your mesh has enough geometry and that you connect your displacement map to a displacement node and then connect it to the displacement input of the material output. By default, this will only give you fake bumps, so you have to go over to the material properties tab, scroll down to where it says settings, surface, displacement, and set this to displacement only or displacement and bump if you want both. Also, this only works in cycles render engine for now, so you can only see the displaced geometry in the cycles rendered view. Next important material is probably the water and I'm going to be honest I really wasn't able to make this water look good like right now it probably looks much better than what I started with all thanks to this pre-made water material that my friend gave me which 
was actually a tutorial by Luca Schkeller, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, about making a water shader. I haven't watched the video in depth, but if you're interested, you can check it out from the link given in the description. I only tweaked some of the values and changed the base color to this greenish blue color to fake the ocean water look further. But other than that, the material is pretty much intact. Then comes the material for the lighthouse where I have this brick-like texture going on here. I created this brick texture using the procedural brick texture node by tweaking the values to get what I need and by setting the color 1 and color 2 to this light and brown colors and the mortar to this grayish color. I took this node and mixed it with the base color of the concrete texture using a mix RGB node with it set to soft light and the brick texture in the second slot. Then I duplicated this whole brick texture, set both the colors to white and the mortar to black to get a mask of the bricks for the roughness and bump maps. I used the color ramp to flatten it out and made it sort of gray in color and mixed it with the roughness map of the concrete material using a mix RGB node. I also used this ramp's output for the height input of the bump node and this gave me exactly the brick that I wanted. The materials for the rest of the scene are simple PBR materials of textures that I got off of CC0 textures and texture haven. I'll leave the links to all of the textures in the description so you don't have to worry about any of that. To add some randomness in some materials and break up the texture a bit, I used the noise texture, made the blacks white and the whites green for a moss texture and I multiplied it with the base color of the materials that I wanted to apply it to. That pretty much wraps up the texturing stage next comes the lighting for most of the lighting in the scene i used an hdri bumped up the saturation using the hue saturation value node and set the background strength to two and in order to get some extra lighting and exaggerate that evening feel i decided to add a warm sunlight with the strength set to three that is pretty much it for the breakdown of the scene it's quite simple as you can probably tell it's missing a lot of elements as well maybe the composition is weird and it's just a total mess i also did a little bit of post-processing later in Photoshop to make it look a bit more put together than before. Even though the result didn't quite meet my expectations, it was still a great learning experience and I had a lot of fun during the process. I do hope that you found this video useful somehow and if you did then make sure to hit that like button to show your appreciation. And if you're new here and want to see more awesome content in the future which will probably be better than this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're interested to support the channel directly and have the means to, then check out my Patreon page where you can donate to me directly directly to fund the render costs of the projects and much more. You also get super cool monthly Blender creative packages as well as links to download all of my projects discussed in my videos which are available on Gumroad. We also have a Discord server too where a lot of cool artists hang out and get feedback on their projects so you can check that out if you're interested. That's all I have for you today. Stay tuned for the upcoming live streams. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.